it's finally arrived and I'm super stoked for this. Okay, so in case you don't know what this is, this is the Jumpstart 2022 release and this uh, comes with two Jumpstart packs which have certain themes to them. And then you open both these packs and combine them together, which will make a full, uh, fully ready to play deck. So me and my friends um, each got one of these. I'm just gonna unbox it on camera for you guys. And then comment down below if you would like to see gameplay with these decks. All right, so I'm gonna unbox this real fast and then we'll see what's inside. So these are what the packs inside looks like. Now let's open these up and see what we got. Okay, so first, first jumpstart pack. Um, all right, this one, this one's theme is cruel black, and apparently they are double wrapped within the pack. Also, if you guys could take a moment to like this video and subscribe, it'd really help my channel out a lot. All right, and then we have white vehicles. Interesting. So this is what our deck is going to be. Black, white, cruel vehicles. So yeah, let's open these up and see what's inside of them. So I'm not really sure like how many uncommons or, you know, how many rare slots there are inside of these, but I guess we will find out. Kind of difficult to open. I'm trying not to damage the cards. Okay, so starting with vehicles here. Ooh, nice. Okay, we get a mythic. Um, Lita Mechanical Engineer. Uh, let's read this real fast. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. And we get a rare, <clears throat> three drop vehicle, Peace Walker Colossus. Another target vehicle you control becomes an artifact creature developer. Okay, cool, so you can cheat uh, crew costs with this. Okay, so it looks like you get one mythic, one rare, at least in this vehicle pack, and now we're on to the uncommon. So we got Hotshot Mechanic, Imperial Recovery Unit, Aether Shield Artificer, Aerial Modification, Kitsune Ace, Sanctum Gargoyle, Built to Last, Caught in the Brights, Giant Ox, Array Dura Express, and we might be on to lands here. So it's nice that they include a dual color land option in these, so you can uh, play with, you know, synergize with both of your colors that you're making this deck out of. And these do come with lands, so you don't need to worry about lands either okay so we just have this is the only non-basic land and then we have basic planes all right cool so now let's get on to opening this black pack here so as far as the uh, last pack i just opened goes i'm very pleased with the cards in these and these look super fun to play so after i play with these i will definitely be dropping a review um, of this magic product on my channel just to tell you what I guys what um, what I think about this and Whether I think it's worth your purchase or not, but um, before I've even played like I've pretty much made up my mind This is gonna be really fun. You just have to play it with your friends that have the same one. Okay, so in the in the uh, Black pack we do not get a mythic. I don't know if each of these packs contain the same cards um, Or if the cards are just to the theme of the pack. So I don't know about that. So we only get one rare in this. Termination Facilitator, Human Assassin 2 drop 1 3. Tap put a bounty count on target creature. Alright, nice. Feast of the Fallen. Plague Spitter, one of my favorite black cards. Cool art. <laughs> Nested Ghoul. Talon of Pain, nice. Creeping Bloodsucker. Osiri Rats. 
Infernal Idol, cool card. Alley Straggler, Licking Deadeye. So as you can see, as I flip through these, none of these cards are super um, high power cards. Uh, there's a few that work well, um, but what's good about this Jumpstar product is every deck you build out of this is going to be around the same power level, so it's really fun to play with friends. Then we got Thriving More, this is the non-basic land, and then we have all of our basics. And then, once we take this pack, combine it with our vehicle pack, bam, we have a deck. I believe these are 40 cards, and yeah, so I'm super stoked to play with these. Tell me if you guys uh, want to see gameplay of this, and I will also be dropping a review on this after I have played with the decks, seen different deck varieties, and uh, share my thoughts with you on them. So yeah, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.